In game number two of the women's ultimate college semifinals, Ohio State number six, Carlton College number two, and it was Carlton pulling away with the win to head on to the finals. Hi, everybody. Mike Cousins along with former Wake Forest two-time ultimate captain Evan Lepler in this ball game, tied 8-7 at the half, but it was a really just an aggressive effort and a patient one by Carlton in the second half to pull away for the win. Yeah, Carlton was really, really good as a team. They didn't panic when they were down a couple breaks early. Ohio State hung tough, but Carlton was too much down the stretch. They're headed to the finals. And Ohio State in the first half made it back and forth. Just a one-goal game in that first half. But the second half, it was really all the Cassie Swafford show. Yeah, Cassie Swafford was excellent for OSU. She was their go-to girl. We knew that coming in. She was phenomenal, but there was one player on Carlton that was a little bit better. So let's take a look at those highlights, starting with the first half here of the semifinal game. Ohio State took an early lead based on their ability to work it up the field. A couple cuts toward the front cone of the end zone. Deep shots to open space. Ohio State was in a groove. Carlton ratcheted up the defensive intensity, though, in the second half. This Syzygy team, the number two seed overall coming into the tournament, that was a huge defensive play when Ohio State could have gone up by three. And after that, Carlton was in a great rhythm. Flannery McCardle, fairly unusual name. She has unusual greatness. She was fantastic. The number one target for Syzygy, a couple fantastic flick breaks for Kirsty Barton. That set the tone at the end of the first half. And in the second half, it was the McCardle show once again. She did it receiving, and then perhaps the biggest throw of the game, when it was 13-11, she caught it right near the end zone and flipped it into the goal. She had the disc in her hands when the game was over, an appropriate way for Syzygy to advance. So it's a trip to the finals against number one Oregon. They met once this year, March 9th at the Stanford Invite, and Oregon took that 13-10. That's a very tough matchup. We saw Carlton play very well within their team philosophy, but Oregon, with a very strong second half, was able to take down Iowa in the semis. Yeah, both teams are going to say that that was a different season ago. Different players were injured. Different players are healthy now. Different conditions, a different location. Anything can happen tomorrow in the final. So Carlton picks up the win, taking down the fever of Ohio State. Syzygy moves on. 15-11 our final here in Madison, Wisconsin.